Okay, pause the video and have a go at this, nothing new, just a view. Okay, so first question, 2x minus 5, so if we add 5 to both sides, we get 2x is equal to 15, and we'll divide by 2 on both sides, we get x is equal to 7.5. Express one ninth as a percentage, so let's write it in decimal form. First, so we've got 1 divided by 9, 9 into 1 is 0, carry 1, 9 into 10 goes 1, we get 9 into 10 goes 1, and okay, so it's basically 0 0.1 occurring, nice little dot here, and combine this as a percentage. Okay, so as a percentage, uh, the uh, place value moves to the left twice. So it'll be 11.1 recurring as a percentage. Express 3 times 3 times 3 in index 4. This is the same as 3 raised to 3. Here, we want to reflect on the line y is equal to x. Okay, so this is a line y is equal to x. This is y equals x because uh, when x equals 1, y equals 1. When x equals 2, y is equal to 2. Okay, so let's try to reflect uh, it. So here, this point here, it's going to meet, okay, meet the line and then continues at the same distance. Okay, so here, it's a nice little right angle, which is the real line at a right angle, and here we can do uh, the same procedure for the other two points. So here it touches the line at 90 degrees and then continues, so it'll be over here, and the third point touches the mirror line and then continues. So now we're ready to draw our points. I'm sure you can do as much as neat as I can. Use a ruler. So here, okay. Okay. I'll be looking for much neater versions than myself because you guys are using rulers. Okay, so when we are simplifying uh, ratios, uh, we can use a bar model approach. So here we've got six parts, which is the left side. Okay, and then we have two parts on the right hand side. Okay, so all these parts are the same size. Okay, so here we can sort of group it to uh, twos. So we've got one group here, another group here, another group here. Okay, and then you stick another, another group here. Okay, so we could also see that as three parts to the left and then two, one part to the one. Okay. Uh, alternatively, a quicker, quicker way is look for the highest common. Uh, factor, the highest common factor of 6 and 2 is 2. So HCF is equal to 2, and here we can divide each part by 2 to get 3, 1. Okay, pause the video, see if you can find the highest common factor, and then simplify. Okay, so here the highest common factor will be 4, so this simplified will be, so if you divide by the highest common factor, this will be 3, 1. Here the highest common factor of 18 and 6, okay, will be 6. So we can divide left part by part by 6, so this will be 3 and 1. And then the bottom, okay, simplify the ratio 24 and 8, so the highest common factor is 
is going to be 8. So let's divide both sides by 8. So this will be 3 and 1. Okay, so pause the video and have a go over this question here. We're trying to find the missing value, so we need to uh, look at the highest common factor, 15 and 48. Uh, so the highest common factor, 15 and 48, is 3. Okay, uh, so let's uh, divide everything by 3. Uh, so 48 is divided by 3, give us 16, and 15 divided by 3 will give us um, 5. Okay, so A is the answer. Okay, so when we are simplifying, we have to make sure that both parts are whole numbers. Also, the highest common factor um, between the two numbers is 1. Okay, so let's have a look. So for the first one, I multiply both parts of the ratio by 10. So here, multiply by 10, multiply by 10. Okay, so this is 6, and this is 20. So here, both sides are whole numbers, they're the integers, but the highest common factor isn't 1. Okay, so we need to find what the, the highest common factor. Okay, so the highest common factor, 6 and 20, that is 2. So let's divide by 2, both sides. Okay, so here this is 3 and this is 10. Okay, 3 and 10, this is simplified because the highest common factor is 1. Okay, here this person's uh, multiplied both sides by 5. Good. Uh, here both sides are whole numbers and also uh, we have 3 and 10. And the highest common factor between 3 and 10 is 1. Okay, so in the simplifying ratios, both parts have to be whole numbers, integers. So, let's look at the first example. Uh, 0 0.254, so if we multiply both sides by 4, okay, we'll get 1 and 16. Okay, okay, pause video and complete the task, simplifying it, make sure both sides are whole numbers. And finally, try to complete this matching exercise. Okay, this one here, second one, let's multiply both sides by 5. Okay, so this is going to be 4 and 20. Okay, let's have a go this one. So here we can multiply by 5 again. And, okay. Uh, this is going to be 2, and this is going to be uh, 25. Here we can multiply by 3. This will be 18 and 1. Uh, here we can, we can multiply. Okay, so 0 0.75. Let's try multiplying by 100. Okay, so this is be 75, and here we put one fifth uh, times 100, which equals 20. 